Hello again, welcome, and today we are going to be talking about logic gates. What are logic gates? Put very simply, a logic gate is an electrical circuit consisting of two inputs and a single output. By comparing the conditions of the two inputs will determine the output, either on or off or one or a zero. Um, logic gates are microscopic and there are probably millions of them in the device that you're watching this video on at the moment so you have to try to understand them conceptually so i've come up with this idea of using standard wall light switches and a bulb uh, to make them easier to understand in a concrete manner let me show you how i did it so for our first truth table, let's start with the AND gate. This is the symbol for the AND gate. Um, two inputs, A and B, and we are representing the output by the light bulb. So to begin with, with both switches in the OFF position, so we use a zero for OFF, the output is also OFF. So let's try switching on B. So that's A is in the off position, zero. B is in the on position. We can use a one for that. And the output remains off. Okay, let's try switching on A. So A is on, B off, light bulb still remains off. So now the only other permutation is to switch A and B on. A is on, B is on, and the light bulb is on. So we insert a one here. So that's a truth table for an AND gate. Now let's take a look at the OR gate. So this is the symbol for the OR gate. As per the AND gate, two inputs A and B, and the output again represented by the light bulb. So to begin with, <clears throat> with A and B in the off position, so that's zero, zero, the light bulb's off, so we insert a zero. Next, let's try B on, so that's A off, B on, with, we indicate with a one, and the light bulb's on, so we insert a one in the output. Let's try A on and B off. So again, that's on for A, off for B, light bulbs on. So we insert a one in the output. And the last permutation is A on and B on. So A on, B on, output on. Last but not least, let's take a look at the NOT gate. So in this case, we only have one switch, so one input, so we'll call that A. And again, the output is represented by the bulb. So with the switch on, the output is off. And with the switch off, the output is on. OK, so let's take a look at the wiring for each of these switches. Quick look inside. So you can see I'm using a double A for the power. And I've secured the bulb holder using cable ties to the Patris box. Um, see if I can zoom into that. So you'll see each switch uh, for the two-way double gang switch is marked up with a common terminal and an L1 and L2. So here's the wiring diagram. Feel free to hit the pause if you want to draw your own diagram. So this is for the AND switch and you can see we've got the battery, bulb and the um, two switches. And here's the wiring for the OR gate. And finally for the knot, can't really go wrong because in this case we only have one switch. And here's the wiring diagram. 
So I hope you found this project useful and it's made understanding logic gates just that little bit easier.